The CDC's new guidance has some folks confused over how to protect themselves now, especially with more people getting vaccinated. If you've got questions, or maybe if you haven't seen the new guidelines yet, here's what you need to know. We'll do outdoor activities first, then indoor activities. First, outdoors. The CDC says you can go for a walk or a run outside without a mask. See those two smiling faces? No masks? That's what that means. You can do that outside without a mask, whether you're vaccinated or not. You can also skip the mask for small outdoor gatherings if everyone, including you, is vaccinated. But what about mixed companies, so to speak? Well, if you're fully vaccinated and you're at a small outdoor gathering with unvaccinated people, you don't need a mask. But if you're not fully vaccinated, wear a mask. The same guidelines apply for outdoor dining, but the risk goes up for people who are not fully vaccinated. Maybe think about getting takeout instead. For big outdoor events like concerts and sports, everyone should wear a mask. So that's outdoor. Now let's do indoor activities. Masks are still recommended indoors. See how all the people on that graphic have a little mask on? Everything indoors, they still recommend a mask. Shopping at the mall, getting a haircut, small indoor gatherings. Even if you're vaccinated, you should still wear a mask indoors. If you have not gotten your shot yet, any indoor gathering remains riskier. That's especially true for indoor gatherings where larger groups tend to gather. Everyone, again, everyone should wear a mask at the movies, indoor dining, at worship services, or at the gym. Yes, I hate wearing a mask at the gym, too. I just try to think of it as extra cardio. And the CDC still recommends social distancing and cleaning your hands often. Joining us now is David Shulkin, former Veterans Affairs Secretary. He's also the former president and CEO of Beth Israel Medical Center. Secretary Shulkin, good evening. Good to see you. It's nice to be with you, Joshua. What is your biggest takeaway from the CDC's latest guidelines? The one thing you think people should continue to keep in mind? Well, Joshua, uh, these guidelines are just way too confusing. I, you know, you can't keep track of all the different recommendations. So let's just try to simplify it. If you are around other people that are vaccinated, uh, you're going to be safer and not have to wear a mask. But because we're in a situation where we still have so many people that are not vaccinated, when you're around people, if you are vaccinated, but you're around people who are not vaccinated, uh, you could be putting them at risk. So it's important to still wear a mask. And I hope that uh, that's not going to be the case later on this summer. But right now we're in a period of time where we still have only 40 percent of Americans fully vaccinated. Yeah, take a look at this graphic. We'll show you a bit of a bit more of how much of the population has been vaccinated. Right now, about 28 percent of the whole country has been vaccinated. There are some big differences, clearly, in what a vaccinated person or an unvaccinated person can do. But Secretary Shulkin, I think that's part of the frustration some people have. They're like, well, dang, what was the point of getting vaccinated if we still have to wear masks and we still have to socially distance? I think part of the point is that we're, the science a little bit is still out on what transmission is like through a vaccinated person to an unvaccinated person. You may have protected yourself, but we don't know how much you still need to protect the people around you. I think that's exactly right, Joshua. That is the issue. But I think the data is becoming clearer that vaccinated people have a very low risk of transmission. But the CDC, of course, their first job in being in government is to protect people. So they're being conservative and they're being appropriately cautious because we still have so many people that unfortunately have not yet gotten the vaccine. And so that issue, until the data is absolutely clear that the risk is low, as I believe the data is beginning to show, we are going to have to be in a situation where vaccinated people continue to wear masks to protect those who have not yet gotten vaccinated. Before I let you go, let me get your reaction to something that Dr. Anthony Fauci told us earlier today on this network. Watch. I wouldn't declare victory yet. I mean, that's a good thing to get people anticipating something that they've been in, that they've been wanting and longing for for so long that's not a bad thing so long as it doesn't allow people to then all of a sudden say we've won and pull back on the kind of public health measures that we know we have to implement according to the CDC guidelines 
Secretary Shulkin, before I let you go, I know way too many people who are frustrated with the people who are frustrated. <laughs> They're like, why doesn't everybody just continue to do what they were supposed to do? Why is it so hard? People are just looking for an excuse not to do what they know they're supposed to do. I think there's frustration about the frustration. What do you make of all of this frustration? Should we just be a little bit less cool with people who are looking for a way around the regulations? Or is there a legitimate case to be made for tailoring these messages around the people who are the hardest to reach? Well, I think, Joshua, it's important to look back just, uh, you know, six months ago where we weren't sure we we're going to have a vaccine. So I think everyone should feel very good about where we are. But as Dr. Fauci said, we can't let our foot off the gas. We are right in a critical time right now with a real opportunity to be putting this pandemic behind us. And I think one of the things that government and all of us can really be hoping for is to go for full approval by the FDA of these vaccines. Remember, so many people are still cautious because they have emergency use authorization. We need to get that full approval and we need everyone to feel comfortable that this is the right thing to do. I do feel confident with the side effect profiles and the safety profiles. I think we now have you know, more than 1.3 billion shots given around the world. Uh, this is a pretty safe vaccine, and I hope more people are gonna be getting it over the next few weeks. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's not that much to ask. It's just a mask, y'all. It's just a mask. Right. Former VA Secretary David Shulkin. Good to see you, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you, Joshua. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.